Welcome to the Baboom Baboom Podcast, your go-to source for expert tips on car stereo installation, vehicle wiring, and all things wiring related. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started, we've got the advice to help you power up your ride. Get ready to crank up the volume on your knowledge and make your next wiring project a success. All right, so today we're diving into the world of four ohm speakers. Sounds good. We're going to figure out how to wire these things up. Awesome. Luckily, we've got this killer guide from Baboom Baboom. Oh, yeah, they know their stuff. They really break it down. For sure. By the end of this, you'll be wiring like a pro. Absolutely. Okay, so impedance. Right. What does ohm even mean when we talk about speakers? Okay, so ohm, it's a measure of resistance. Okay. Resistance to electrical current. Hmm. Think of it like a water pipe. Okay. You know, a narrow pipe yeah. creates more resistance to right. the water flow. Uh huh. A speaker with higher ohms. Yeah. That's like that narrow pipe. Okay. It resists the flow of electricity more. So a four ohm speaker. Yeah. It's like a medium sized pipe then. Exactly. Okay. That's why four ohms is so popular. Makes sense. It strikes a good balance. Okay. It draws enough power for great sound. Uh huh. But it's not so power hungry that it's incompatible right. with most amplifiers. Right. Gotcha. Okay. So we got these four ohm speakers. Right. We're ready to wire them up. Right. What are our options? You got two main choices. Okay. Series wiring and parallel wiring. Okay. Each one affects the total impedance of your setup. Right. And that's important because okay. it impacts how your system performs. Okay. And how much power your amplifier needs to put out. Okay, cool. Can you break down series and parallel wiring? Sure. Let's start with series wiring. Okay. It's like connecting those water pipes end to end. Uh-huh. Each speaker adds to the total resistance. Okay. That means your amplifier has to work less hard right. to push the current through. So series wiring yeah. is kind of like taking it easy on the amplifier? It can be. Okay. Especially if your amplifier has a higher impedance requirement. So it's safer. It can be safer, yeah. Okay. If the impedance is too low, mm -hmm. your amplifier might have to work too hard. Yeah. And that can cause it to overheat or even get damaged. Oh, wow. Okay, so right. with series wiring, we're increasing the resistance to keep things running smoothly. Exactly. How do we actually do the wiring? Think of it like <laughs> a chain. Okay. You connect the positive terminal of your amplifier uh -huh. to the positive terminal of your first speaker. Okay. Then you connect the negative terminal of that first speaker yeah. to the positive terminal of your second speaker. Right. Finally, you connect the negative terminal of your second speaker yeah. to the negative terminal of your amplifier. Okay, so it's like a positive to negative yes. chain, yeah. starting and ending at the amplifier. Exactly. Got it. What about parallel wiring? Parallel wiring is like having multiple pipes running side by side. Okay. It lowers the total resistance, Okay. which allows more power to flow to your speakers. So louder sound. Louder sound. But I was going to say, there's always a catch, right? Well, you need to be extra careful that your amplifier can handle it. Okay. The lower impedance. Right. If it can't, you risk overloading it mm -hmm. and potentially causing damage. Yeah. So parallel wiring is more high risk, high reward. Yeah. Think of it like this series. Yeah. Wiring is like taking a leisurely stroll. Uh-huh. While parallel wiring is more like sprinting. Okay. You can cover more ground quickly. Right. But you need to be in good shape to handle it. Gotcha. Okay, so how do we wire speakers in parallel? With parallel wiring, all the positive terminals of your speakers okay. get connected to the positive terminal of your amplifier. Okay. And all the negative speaker terminals get connected to the negative terminal hmm. of your amplifier. So it's like creating multiple paths for the current. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so series is like a chain. Right. And parallel is like branching out. Yep, that's a good way to put it. So how do we know which one is right for our setup? That's where things get interesting. Okay. The choice depends on your amplifier uh -huh. and what you want to achieve with your sound system. Right. You have to be a bit strategic about it. Okay, I'm starting to realize there's a lot more to this than I initially thought. But that's what makes it so fascinating. Yeah. It's all about understanding how these components work together right. to create the best possible listening experience for you. Okay, so what's the first step in figuring this out? Well... Do we need to do some detective work with our amplifiers? You got it. Okay. We need to check your amplifier specs. Okay. Specifically look for the minimum impedance rating. Okay. That's the lowest impedance your amp can safely handle. So let's say my amplifier yeah. is rated for 4 ohms. Okay. Does that mean I can use either series or parallel hmm. 
for my forum speakers? Well, not quite. Okay. Remember, with series wiring, yeah. you're adding the impedance of each speaker. Mm -hmm. So two four-ohm speakers wired in series okay. would give you a total impedance of eight ohms. Right. Which is above your amplifier's minimum. So series wiring would be the safer option. Exactly. Oh, it ensures you're not pushing your amplifier beyond its limits. Right. Need top quality electrical wire? Baboom Baboom's got you covered. Get your six pack today. Each combo comes in six different colors and a total of 600 feet of wire. Perfect for any project and you won't find a better price in the industry. Head over to baboombaboom.com now to snag yours. That's baboombaboom.com. Plus, series wiring can be beneficial. Okay, if you're not aiming for super high volume. So if I wanted to really crank it up yeah. and my amplifier could handle two ohms, okay. then parallel would be the way to go. Absolutely. Uh, parallel wiring gives you that lower impedance right. and allows more power to flow to your speakers. Gotcha. But remember, yeah. you have to be absolutely certain your amplifier can handle it. For sure. Otherwise, you're risking damage. Okay. I'm definitely going to double check those specs. Good idea. So we figured out our wiring configuration. Right. Now, what about the wires themselves? Okay. Does it matter what kind of wire we use? It absolutely does. Okay. Wire gauge plays a crucial role okay. in how effectively power is delivered to your speakers. So it's not just about grabbing any old wire? Not at all. Okay. Think of it like this. Okay. A thicker wire, like a 12 gauge, oh. is like a super highway for electrical current. Okay. It offers very little resistance. Right. So the power can flow freely. A thinner wire like an 18 gauge, yeah. is more like a back road with lots of twists and turns. Okay. It restricts the flow of current, uh -huh. and you can lose some of that power along the way. So thicker wires are better? Generally, yes. Okay. Especially for longer runs or high power systems. Okay. For a typical 4 ohm setup, yeah. a 16 gauge wire will do the job for shorter distances. Okay. But if you're running wires across a large room, right. or you have a powerful amplifier, uh -huh. You'll want to step up to a 14 or even a 12 gauge wire. Okay, what about those really thin wires, like 22 gauge? They might work for low power setups. Okay. Like computer speakers. Yeah. But I would avoid them for any serious audio system. Okay. Using a thin wire with a high power system. Yeah. It's like trying to force a river through a straw. Right. It's just not going to work effectively. Gotcha. And you can even damage your equipment. Okay, so we want to make sure we're using the right wire gauge. Yes. For our setup. What if we're on a budget? Okay. Are there more affordable options? There are uh. copper clad aluminum wires. Okay. Or CCA wires. Right. Or a good alternative to pure copper wires. Okay. They provide good performance uh -huh. at a more affordable price. Okay, cool. In mm -hmm. fact, yeah. Baboom, Baboom, whose guide we're using, right. offers a great selection of CCA wires. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Okay, so we've covered impedance, series and parallel wiring yeah. and wire gauge. Right. Is there anything else we should know? There's always more to learn, Okay. for example. Yeah. Have you ever heard of series parallel wiring? Series parallel wiring? Yeah. That sounds pretty advanced. It is a bit more advanced. Okay, what is that? It's a technique that combines both series and parallel connections oh, okay. to achieve a specific total impedance. So it's like a hybrid approach? Exactly. Got it. It's often used in more complex systems okay. with multiple speakers. All right. So for example, yeah. if you have four speakers, yeah. you could wire two in series uh -huh. and then those two sets in parallel? You could do that. Okay. Imagine you have four four-ohm speakers Okay. by strategically wiring them. Yeah. In a series parallel configuration, uh -huh. you could actually achieve a total impedance of four ohms. Wow. So you can make it match perfectly. You can. Yeah. Your amplifier. Exactly. That's cool. Yeah, series parallel wiring gives you a lot of flexibility. Okay. In designing your sound system. Okay, so it sounds like I need to do a little more research. It can get complex. Yeah, before I try that myself. Yeah. For now, let's focus on those basic wiring tips. Sure. Are there any practical things we should keep in mind? Absolutely. Okay. First and foremost, Yeah. pay attention to polarity. Polarity. Yeah. What's that? It means making sure you connect positive terminals to positive terminals. Right. And negative to negative. Okay. So positive to positive, negative to negative. Exactly. If you get these mixed up, uh -huh. you can end up with something called phase cancellation. Phase cancellation? Mm -hmm. What is that? Phase cancellation occurs when sound waves from different speakers yeah. interfere with each other. Okay. Resulting in a weaker sound output. 
Hmm. It's like trying to push and pull something at the same time. Okay. You end up going nowhere. So if the polarity is reversed, yeah. the sound waves are working against each other. Exactly. Right, together. Yep. Okay. To avoid phase cancellation, always double check your connections. Right. Make sure the positive terminal of each speaker uh -huh. is connected to the positive terminal of the amplifier. Okay. Or the next speaker in the chain. Right. And the same goes for the negative terminals. Gotcha. So double check those connections. Always double check. Okay. What else can we do? It's always a good idea to test your connections. Okay. With a multimeter. A multimeter. Yeah. What's that? It's a handy tool that allows you to measure the resistance. Okay. Of your circuit. So you can be sure that the total impedance is correct. Exactly. Uh, this way you can confirm. Yeah. That your total impedance is what you expect it to be yeah. based on your chosen wiring configuration. Smart. Okay, what about securing the wires? When it comes to securing your wiring, yeah. don't just twist wires together. Okay. Use crimp connectors or solder the connections right. and then cover them with heat shrink tubing. So it's safe and it looks good. Exactly. Yeah. It makes your setup look more professional right. and prevents any loose wires uh, from causing problems down the road. Okay, so secure those connections. Yes. And double check everything. Always double check. Before turning on the power. Before you flip that power switch, Okay. make absolutely sure your amplifier speakers and wiring right. are all compatible. Got it. The last thing you want is to fry any of your components. Safety first. No fried speakers allowed. Exactly. Okay, so we've covered a lot of ground here. We've talked about impedance series mm -hmm. and parallel wiring, mm -hmm. wire gauge, right. and some helpful tips for making sure everything is connected yes. safely and correctly. Absolutely. Wow. It's amazing how much goes into this. Yeah. It's a lot more than people realize. It really is. But, you know, yeah. with a little knowledge and the right guidance, right. it's totally doable. Yeah, this guide from Baboom Baboom was really helpful. Oh, yeah. They're the best. I mean, they didn't just give us the basics. No, they really went you, deep they, on all the technical stuff. Exactly. And, you oh, know, yeah. they didn't just tell us about wiring. Right. They've got all those cool products, too, like yeah. those CCA wires you were talking about. Exactly. So we'll be sure to include a link to their site awesome. in the show notes. Yeah, definitely check them out. Okay. So as we wrap up yeah. our deep dive on four ohm speakers, Right. here's a thought for you. Okay. How can all this knowledge uh, about impedance and wiring yeah. enhance your overall listening experience? Hmm. That's a great question. It really makes you think, huh? It does. Mm. Because it's not just about getting sound. Right. It's about getting the best sound. Exactly. So by optimizing your wiring, yeah. you're making sure your speakers are performing at their peak. It's like the difference between... Yeah. Listening to music on your phone That's right. and then hearing it uh -huh. on a really great sound system. Absolutely. I know. Yeah, it's a totally different experience. It is. When your speakers are wired correctly, yeah. the music just comes alive. Totally. You hear all those details right. that you might have missed before. Exactly. And it becomes way more immersive. It really does. All right. So yeah. we're going to sign off here. Okay. Keep those ears curious. Right. And those speakers pumping. Awesome. Until next time, happy listening. Need top quality electrical wire? Baboom Baboom's got you covered. Get your six pack today. Each combo comes in six different colors and a total of 600 feet of wire. Perfect for any project and you won't find a better price in the industry. Head over to baboombaboom.com now to snag yours. That's baboombaboom.com.